This video brought to you by our Patreons. Please consider supporting this channel and joining our Patreons at patreon.com forward slash NovaWing24. Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your once up location for your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. So here we are on Sunday the 7th of June 2020 for another exciting episode and we're going to jump straight into it this week with a release I forgot off of last week's show, I do apologise. So last week we saw the release uh, from FSPS um, of uh, one of their uh, in-house developed sceneries, uh, this one of of Dunnerworth Genderkin, and I have I'm I know my German is rusty enough to know I completely made a hash of that. Uh, so this is a small GA airfield uh, located in Germany, um, which is a, of uh, which is it is an int it makes an interesting, neat little sort of. Um, prospect to go fly into. It, it, it reminds me very much of the plethora of US airfields that have been produced by Orbix over the years uh, that are perfect for $100 hamburger runs. I suppose it might be something to maybe uh, 100 euro bratwurst in, in Germany? I don't know, maybe it is. Um, so this particular air, air, uh, airfield release uh, from FSPS uh, is a highly detailed rendition of the airfield and the surrounding area as it appears at the start of 2020. Includes full support for uh, high resolution 4K textures throughout all airport buildings. Includes full implementation of PBR texturing throughout the buildings, uh, clutter objects, and ground textures as well. And full support of photoreal imagery for the airport and surrounding area as well. Uh, includes full support for automatic season switching with custom photoreal uh, uh, scenery for each season uh, and all implemented via SODE, as well as full support for dynamic light lighting as well as uh, runway lighting. Which is not only required, which is not only dynamically uh, in dynamically switched on during day night cycles, but also based on weather conditions as well, which is kind of cool and kind of awesome as well. Includes also support for SODE content, uh, driving much of what we just talked about, as well as also a fully animated windsock and a variety of 3D models as well. As well. Uh, so this is, as I said, so this beautiful rendition. Uh, the one interesting quirk that I will note about this one though is its compatibility is that this one is exclusively only for prepared v4.5 um, so I don't think many people would be running in just 4.4 these days uh, or previous versions of prepared v4 but it is uh, only compatible with 4.5 just so you're aware of that one um, additionally though it is not supported by any of the other of the ESP sims uh, including v5 which is interesting and I couldn't find any information about whether it was going to be made compatible in the future or what the story is for that so I guess time will tell for that one uh, but if you're somebody like me who is still soldering on with v4 because v5 is still too unstable uh, then it's probably something for you guys to look at if I look at picking this one up it's available direct from FSPS store coming in at 16 US dollars or your original equivalent available now. Now moving in to the releases for this week and sticking with scenery, we're starting with Digital Design with their latest release this week of Lyon Saint Exupéry Airport, uh, which is funnily enough is the main inter is the international airport servicing the city of Lyon, which is the France's uh, third biggest city. Uh, now this is a really interesting uh, airport as well because it has a fully functioning um, high-speed rail network uh, that is uh, supports uh, that supports uh, public attending and uh, attending the go going to the airport uh, and that is actually modeled here as well though I couldn't find I though I I'm trying to I, I was trying to find out whether the train is animated or whether it's just the you know, it's just present there but at the very least from looking at the screenshots there is a highly detailed rendition of the train station as well as the air, airport itself now of course moving on to the airport uh, of course it is done a highly detailed rendition of the airport as it appears at the start of 2020 uh, full use of uh, 4k textures throughout for all air, all airport buildings it also includes full use of PBR materials on all major airport buildings as well as ground textures as well includes a full range uh, of high resolution photoreal imagery for the airport and the surrounding area and city as well it includes uh, many um, notable iconic landmarks for the regional area uh, as well as custom autogen as well it includes full support 
for dynamic lighting and 3D night lighting effects throughout the airport area as well. Uh, SOD again driving a lot of the additional content including driving the windsocks and animated jetways as well which also support their visual guidance docking system full support 3D grass and wet rain uh, weather and wet wet weather effects are also included as well throughout as part of the PBR setup as well so this one is looking pretty damn amazing now this one's available direct for, uh, from uh, sim market coming in at 33 US dollars or your original equivalent available now oh sorry uh, actually and I should mention uh, that this one is available for the 60 for the PBR versions of prepared so 4.4 and above and prepared v5 all right continuing on with uh, scenery releases for this time from Sierra sim with their release of Jose Joaquin de De Almedo International Airport, uh, which is services the airport of Guayaquil, uh, which is the second uh, largest city in Ecuador. So we're not dealing with the biggest cities of countries at the moment, but we're dealing with the next ones down the chain. Uh, so this one, uh, not a lot of information about this one, uh, but what I can glean from reading through a couple of releases and, and some reviews here and there is that this uh, airport is how it appears um, at the start of 2020 or the end of 2019. It includes full support for photo real custom terrain, uh, custom photo real imagery for the airport and the surrounding city of Guayaquil as well. Full use of high, uh, high def textures, so probably looking at least 2K, probably either 2 or 4K textures for right, all airport buildings. It includes full support of PBR texturing on major buildings as well. A variety of airport objects have been included as well as a large number of points of interest for the city as well as custom autogen for the city and surrounding areas as well again once again SODE making an appearance with support for jetways and various objects around the airport as well and full support for dynamic lighting and 3d lighting as well so in terms of compatibility uh, there are two different versions available um, so there is one available for uh, the 64-bit sims so prepared v4 and v5 and then there is a separate version uh, available for the 32-bit bit sims uh, so uh, depending on which ones you want to pick up you can choose whichever ones you'd like and uh, each one is available for 23 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from sim market Continuing on with scenery releases for the ESP family of Sims, this time MK Studios come out with their latest release, and this time heading over to Ireland with their, their release of Donegal Airport. Uh, so this one is uh, 200 miles south of Bunberg in Carrickfin, um, and uh, is uh, funnily enough, and services the funnily enough the county of Donegal as well. I feel like when I say this that I should be speaking is like an airport is going to be out of Harry Potter or something. I don't know why, but anyway. Uh, so this is uh, an interesting airport because it's actually. A, it is ostensibly is a fairly small sort of you know, commuter or sort of general aviation airport. Um, however, it's serviced by um, uh, charter airline services and helicopter services uh, due to the fact that it provides a support to a variety of um, offshore oil installations um, off in the Irish Sea. Um, so it's a very important destination for many of those sort of random trips. So it's a, it's a, something that's a bit different and a bit interesting. Um, so it could, could be kind of cool as well. Now, in terms of this airport, this is the airport is uh, this is rendered as it appears at the end of 2019 includes full custom photo reel of the airport and area and the immediate surrounding area as well um all up to all accurate airport buildings have been models including full implementation of high definition textures and pbr materials for taxiways runways and all airport buildings as well includes custom updated night lighting systems including directional taxiway center lights uh, as well as a full suite of supported optimized dynamic lighting and sod wind socks as well now in terms of compatibility this one is available for the uh, prepared v4.5 and v5 uh, so for the 64-bit sims only the high definition on PBR and this one's coming in at 21 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from your favorite flight sim retailer Continuing on with uh, ESP releases, and this one uh, is a prepared v5 release, and actually a very unexpected release because I was pretty sure that Orbix said they weren't going to release this. So this week we saw a, the release of Global Vector for prepared v5. Um, now the reason why I say it's, it's a bit surprising is because pretty much as soon as 
prepared v5 came out orbix turned around and said that they would not when they made their statement about what would be you know the timeline to update content to support the new sim um they said that they were not going to be uh, they were not planning on updating uh, global vector because of the fact that the vector data that's contained natively in prepared v5 is actually more up to date than the vector data that our FTX, FTX global vector is built from which by the way um, it dates back to 2012 I believe 2012 um, so you know it's 2011 or 2012 data that's even inside the global vector so I mean we're talking data that's almost a decade old now um, so it would make sense that you know if, 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 if Lockheed Martin had actually updated the data which was which would have been nice so that's what makes me interested to see that the fact that they've actually now released Global Vector for Prepared V5 and they haven't updated it. it is still the same product that we had released to our community back in 2013. Nothing has changed. Um, in fact, the only thing that's actually changed um, is the fact that they've actually pulled stuff out of it. Um, so originally there was a airport elevation tool because one of the key changes and key updates of global of, of FTX Global Vector was it updated airport elevations um, across the globe. Um, now apparently this is the one thing that um, LM have paid attention to, and they've updated, they've gone around, gone around and update a lot of the default airports. So they've actually pulled that particular part out of Global Vectors, but they've left in all the uh, roads, rivers, um, and all the other sort of vector data. Um, so as I said, it's it's a bit weird that this one is released because um, it's unexpected, and at the same time, I'm sort of going. Why bother? Especially if you haven't updated anything. So I, I have mixed feelings about this, and most of them, most of them are not very positive. Um, however, on on the positive note, though, if you are an existing owner of global of FTX Global Vector, this is a free update. Um, you don't have to buy it. You simply log into your account, and it will be and you available to you. You get a, a well, you have to you have to purchase it, but you purchase it for free. Um, if you're a new user, however, you're looking at paying at thirty five US dollars to pick this one up. Um, as I said, I am just I'm still a little confused um, because especially when the initial claim from Orbix came that we've you know LA, LA have got finally got updated vector data in there. Um, so yeah, interesting. So yeah, as I said, there is no update. There is no additional GIS data. There's no additional OSM data that's been put in here. This is simply the this is the exact same release that we saw in 2013 without the airport airport elevation corrections. So I'll leave it over to you guys to decide what you want to do with it. Um, but yeah, that one if you want to pick this one up, as I said, available for 35 US dollars for new users. Available now from Orbix Direct. Alrighty, so that uh, ends out the ESP family of Sim News. Moving into the world of X Plane and F Sim Studios, uh, saw the uh, release this week of their rendition of Kelwana International Airport in Canada. Um, so this one, they released this a few weeks back uh, for um, the ESP family of Sims, and they've now ported it across to X Plane uh, with the um, assistance of Canada for X Plane. Uh, and as I said, there's no additional content of this one, so this is a accurate re representation of of uh, Kelowna International Airport as it appears at the end of 2019 uh, includes custom uh, photo real or author imagery of the surrounding area including the full city of Kelowna and a highly detailed represent representation of Kelowna General Hospital's heliport is included as well. Uh, a whole slew of custom uh, points of interest models been uh, dotted all around the city of Kelowna including the uh, custom model for the William R. Bennett Bridge, a variety of shopping malls, hotels and more. Uh, all of this, uh, all the airport buildings and uh, custom POIs are done in uh, high definition, uh, ultra high de HD 4K textures throughout. Full support for dynamic lighting, PBRs throughout, as well as for, for World Traffic 3 compatibility as well. Uh, so yeah, so this one's uh, coming in for 20 US dollars, or your original equivalent, available now from FSIM Studios. 
continuing on with X-Plane 11 releases this week and Theranda Designs have come out with their latest release uh, of, the, of their one uh, release of their own too instead of just supporting other developers uh, with their rendition of the Pilatus PC6 uh, Porter or Turbo Porter for X-Plane 11. Um, so this is a highly detailed re representation of this aircraft with customer 3D model, uh, so a highly accurate 3D model with custom, a custom dynamic flight model based on real world information. Includes a variety of custom animations including chocks, tie downs, covers and uh, even an electric tug to move the aircraft around the airport. Uh, full implementation of PBR materials throughout the textures as well, uh, as well as one of the things that I, I really am impressed by this one is an int is a customizable cockpit layout so basically there's a little panel manager that allows you to actually um rearrange your instrument panel into how you want it to be uh and also reflecting whether or not you want the um uh, like and also what sort of a additional avionics add-ons you can have in there as well whether you want to have as a GPS the default Garmin that comes that ships with x 11 or whether you have some av additional avionics packs packages out there including rather the XP's suite of uh, GTN devices as well uh, and you can also rearrange like what of the basic six and how they sit and where they sit in the, your arrangement as well so there's a lot of there's a lot of customization a lot of thoughts gone into this one here as well and there's some beautiful high uh, deliveries for this one in, in, uh, included as well now in terms of wheel sets though it looks like it only has the base, the standard wheel set, um, which is probably the biggest thing that I probably does let, I, I would say, if that is true, as I said, I'm just looking at the um, the screenshots here, and from the screenshots that I can see, it looks like they've only got the standard wheel set. Uh, it doesn't seem to have a, the Tundra tire wheel set or the floats um, or skis options, which is a bit of a shame considering that is yeah, there's so those additional landing gear is one of the things that made that, that has made the uh, Turbo Porter such a success in the real world and such a wonderful aircraft to fly in uh, the ESP sims when it comes from uh, Milviz. So yeah. That's probably the only thing that that's the only observation I would have that would be negative. But otherwise, in terms of price, you're looking at paying 35 US dollars or your original equivalent available from the xplane.org store. Continuing on with X-Plane 11 aircraft release this week, and this one uh, saw from a, a new developer, Hold My Beer, uh, which is, I think, possibly one of the best names for a a, 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 two, a, a couple of developers I think I've ever come across. Uh, and this was their first release. It was for the SR22 Turbo G6 model, uh, and they've come to release this one as freeware. And I tell you what, this thing is looking incredible. It's looking insane. Uh, so incredibly highly detailed and highly and and, uh, and custom animated 3d model uh, with full support for a variety of camera systems internally and externally a full highly detailed cockpit and accurate 3d model across according to real world experiences includes uh, full support from moving airport map and full support for avitab integration as well as active sky xp features as well including a full set of icing simulation as well like that's nuts by the way Anyway, uh, it occurs custom sound effects, custom particle effects are also included as well uh, with variety of custom systems or custom coded for this as well. Uh, pilot health sim simulation there as well, which is interesting. I'm assuming that means you can asphyxi asphyxi asphyxiate yourself, which is kind of cool. And as I said before, a full a full icing simulation of our airframe um, and systems icing as well. So as I said, looking absolutely insane. It sounds pretty awesome. It should be cool uh, with absolutely beautiful high definition 4K textures and incredible um night lighting as well for this one as well so as i said and this one's coming in for the absolutely awesome price of free though the developer has said that if you do enjoy their work they have said that if you would like to support them um please consider supporting to a charity that they have nominated as well so when you head over to their website which will be in the description down below um have a read of that as i said kind of awesome that they're actually sort of encouraging that to do which is a really amazing thing to see because just flight simmers were awesome at supporting causes, which I think is cool. Uh, probably the only thing to let to everybody know about so this is um, it does not it is not VR friendly at this time. They said they are working on it, but at this time it is not VR friendly. Uh, and the other thing they said is that it is only for X Plane 11 Windows users at this time. Um, so uh, they said apologies to the uh, Mac and Linux guys, but for now, it, at, the, at the very least, for now, it is going to be for Windows users only, and it's available now from. Hold my beer. 
All right, moving out of the X-Plane 11 world, moving into the world of DCS with a couple of releases this week. And this one, uh, for the first one, well, actually, they're kind, of, they're kind of released together because they are sort of unique. They are sort of linked as well. Uh, so we saw, in terms of aircraft releases this week, we saw the release of uh, the P-47D Thunderbolt. Um, so this is, uh, the, and this is, and like, it's the traditional model as it is with DCS. This is the early access release model. Um, so this one is a high accurate three uh, uh, rendition of the P-47 Thunderbolt from World War II. Uh, initially, uh, they're releasing the Dash 30 model uh, and includes a, an incredibly high accurate 3D model internally and externally. Includes a custom of a coded flight dynamics engine uh, which allows you to apparently feel what it truly feels like to fly this legend. Uh, includes a full interactive cockpit uh, with cockpit controls with a mouse. Um, includes full model and fully highly detailed modeling of all instruments, weapon systems, engines, radios and fuel and electrical systems uh, and does also include full VR support. Uh, includes, as I said, is the Dash 30 model is the one that's released for early access which includes the Mark 8 gun sight, a uh, square shaped throttle, mechanical bomb release uh, panel and uh, exposed brake, brake, parking brake mechanism um, and uh, there is an interesting sort of thing is that it does have some quirks with it has uh, some some tendency to be, to be slightly unstable due to the fact that it didn't have a dorsal fin because that dorsal fin was introduced as uh, in the Dash 40 variant um, which is one that is coming further down in the development pipeline so yeah kind of cool as well uh, at the moment at launch um, it does support Support the uh, uh, weapon. The, the, it has eight Browning machine guns as I mean as its weapon systems, as well as being able to drop bombs. Uh, in the Dash 40 mini, uh, uh, update that'll come down the track for further development, they will add in uh, additional bomb types as well as rocket opera uh, rocket projectiles to be able to launch as well. So if you wanted to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for. 40 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from DCS World Store. In the other release that came out simultaneously uh, was the release of a new map, which was the Channel Map, um, which is kind of interesting as, as, as a map as well, because I'm trying to figure out whether or not, um, and I honestly don't need, I couldn't figure out what this is yet because it doesn't, I couldn't see anything that says yes to this, but also couldn't see anything that said no to this. Um, is the release of the channel map. So it's basically, it's 40,000 square kilometer map uh, covering the English Channel region set in during the Second World War, uh, covering um, the tip of the United Kingdom, sort of in the Dover, Folkestone, New Haven region. Uh, and then it closed the coast of France in the uh, Boulogne, Sumer, Calais, and Dunkirk regions in occupied France. Um, includes the iconic White Cliffs of Dover, uh, as well as a slew of amazing, like detailed um, features, including the chain home radar stations that would sort of, that serve uh, as the sort of iconic part of the skyline of part of the, uh, of the United Kingdom during that period of the war. Of the, of the war. Uh, there are nine authentic air bases with grass and paved runways in England and occupied France. Um, so include, airfields include Dunkirk, uh, Merville, St. Omer Longis, uh, Deitling, Hawking, Limp and Manston and ALG Yusef High Halden. Uh, there is also uh, a range of V1 flying bomb launch sites in occupied France as well. So the one thing I couldn't find is that is that theoretically this should just be an extension of the uh, this is, if well I'm trying to figure out if this is an extension of the Normandy map or not or whether you can play missions which involve both the channel map and Normandy map together. Because I can imagine like a free ranging fighter sweep scenario where you could sort of, um, you know, launch from Folkestone and actually sort of go across to Calais and then swing south towards Normandy. So it would be interesting to see if that's possible or not. I'm not sure, but that would be kind of cool if it is. Uh, now again, like the P-47, this one is available for 40 US dollars or original equivalent uh, available in early access available now for both DCS standalone and DCS World for Steam Edition available now. Yeah, moving out of the flight sim world, moving into simulation on the uh, on the uh, or on the asphalt with the release from OMSI two of their latest bus, the E bus for Hamburg. Um, so this is the uh, the the first major uh, electric buses to uh, be put into operation in the German city of Hamburg in summer of twenty eighteen have now made their way into the digital bus lines of OMSI two. 
So there are over 20 vehicles uh, serving uh, in the city of Hamburg now. Um, and you can also, and they're starting to pop up in other cities around Germany as well. So, and when you think about it, um, Taxis and sort of public transport are places where electric vehicles can make a huge difference for those of us who are more um, uh, environmentally conscious and aware. Um, so that's kind of cool. Now this includes a, a fully accurate uh, and highly and accurately modeled 2019 design of both externally and internally with a highly detailed mesh within both 2K and 4K texturing throughout for internally and externally available for you to choose from. Includes a realistic high, high voltage system with power and SOC display, full support of an SOS lighting function, 44 uh, a custom sound set including 44 new sounds, animated passenger interior display and a variety of other accurate and realistic features for the buses as well. Um, so it looks kind of interesting, kind of cool if you're into those films you too. If you wanted to pick this one up, this one's available for 10 US dollars or your original equivalent available now on Steam. Sticking with the asphalt, but making it more of a uh, a shiny thing, a bit of a, for the shinies this time. Uh, so for Euro Truck Simulator 2, saw the release of the FH Tuning Pack. Uh, so this tuning pack uh, is a uh, for Volvo trucks inside the, uh, the this uh, long running tr uh, simulator truck simulator. And uh, includes a variety of new parts with over 80 exterior custom customization, uh, internal and exterior, internal and external customization options, including chassis covers, rear, bump, rear bumpers, exhaust, sun shields, premium lights, stone guards, front fences, side skirts, front masks, grills, bull bars, front and rear mud flaps, mud flaps door, window trims, new paint jobs, and various other cabin accessories. <sighs> So much stuff. Um, I swear there's more stuff coming out in these packs from SES. Like, seriously, I gotta, you know, when many developers are starting to charge more for their content, I th sometimes think, and I can't really sort of be 100% sure of this, is just my impression from doing reporting on these uh, releases for so long, that SES seem to be going out of their way to make sure that they put more, you, that you, that we as the simmer get more bang for our virtual buck, which is kind of cool, kind of awesome. Uh, so speaking of, you do, if you do pick this up, you're picking this up for four US dollars or original equivalent available now on Steam. And rounding out the simulation release news for this week for a, I'm not, I, I, I guess we're on the, with it, it, I suppose, I, no, I, I was about to say it's the season of it, but no, I think we get them on a regular basis enough that I can't really say seasons anymore. Uh, towards this week of another sporting uh, manager simulator of the Pro Cycling Manager 2020. Um... I didn't know this was even a series. I honestly did not know this was a series, and I had to look up and find out that it was a series. I was surprised at. So this is the 2020 edition of uh, Pro Cycling Manager, uh, and this is uh, includes over 230 races and 650 stages from the iconic Tour de France to La Vuelta in classic events of the World Tour calendar. Uh, you've got 21 official stages of the Tour de France, a variety of options during uh, career mode, including managing the morale of your cyclists, managing the, uh, equi their equipment, their bikes, uh, their nutrition, making sure that they are motivated during the race as well, and their morale, managing the morale and the motivation, as well as uh, getting a digital assistant to help you plan your races, uh, races and a redesigned dashboard and a variety of other improvements. Um, if you're wanting to find out what it's like to manage your own cycling team, you can find out for 40 US dollars available now on Steam. And with that, that rounds out the Nova Rat for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more. And of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search NovaWing24. All right, folks, take care. Safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.